These are 12 web sign rules that could be hurting your site's conversions and causing your visitors to bounce off. Later in this video, I'll also unveil the single most crucial factor in the design of a website. Let's get started with rule number one, above the fold. The fold is the line where the unscrolled page cuts off at the bottom. Anything you have to scroll down to is below the fold. Above the fold website content is important because it's where users form their first impressions and where they expect to see certain um, features such as a sign up link. If visitors don't immediately find what they're looking for, they may exit your page. Utilize the F pattern. A Nielsen Norman group study into eye tracking revealed that when we scan the information on a website, the majority of us do it in an F shaped pattern. This means that we first read important headlines and along the top of the page, and then we scan down to the left side of the page at any numerals, bullet points, or sidebars, then across the page again at any bold text or subheadings. In web design, using an F pattern involves mimicking the eye's natural path as to not disrupt the visual flow. This is especially important for landing pages and sales pages, where conversion is the ultimate goal. So tell me, do you see the F pattern in this image? Choose your images wisely. They say that a picture paints a thousand words, and this is certainly the case in web design. Imagery can serve so many purposes in web design, whether it's telling a story, demonstrating how a product works, evoking emotion, or creating atmosphere. However, it's important to keep in mind that not all images are created equal. It's important to select your images thoughtfully. They should be professional with a high resolution, and they should also fit the overall aesthetic and have a clear objective. Don't be font crazy. Your font choices should be cohesive and appropriate to your industry and the message that you're trying to convey. Over here, you can clearly see that font does matter. It sets the tone and voice for your website. If you're struggling to choose the right fonts, take a look at monotype.com. This website will help you pick the perfect font pairing for your next project. Use white space. Designers love it, yet website owners want to fill it. It's an essential design element and a powerful tool for effective design. In fact, it's equally as important as website content. Intelligent use of white space gives your room content to breathe. It helps you create a balanced interface that's easy to read and doesn't overwhelm your visitor. Apple loves using white space in their brand and it's a great way to direct the user's attention. Use a complementary color palette. Over here, you can see that all of these images share a similar color palette. And this example over here, this is a great example where the brand matches the color palette. Over here, all of these colors are very cohesive. So you can achieve this by going to Adobe Stock and filtering your images by color. So let's just go ahead and change that color to uh, a green and you can see how it updates it and it makes the images completely cohesive. To find the color palette that you want to use, you can also use the color palette generator to find complementary colors. Just choose one of the colors and then the rest will change. You can also upload an image and it will generate a color palette for you. Keep your design consistent. You already know that consistency is key in web design, but it's important to note that this means more than just keeping your fonts, colors, and icons uniform across your branding. It also means keeping the spacing consistent in your layouts. This helps you give your website a polished and professional feel, which boosts brand credibility. Hicks Law, outside the design world, this principle is generally referred to as decision fatigue. It's the idea that every additional choice increases the time required to make a decision. So the more you overload your user with too many different options, whether that's buttons or menu options, the longer it's going to take to entice them to take that action. Have an obvious call to action. Usually this is a button on your landing page telling them to buy, learn more, 
schedule a consultation. Your call to action serves as your selling point and will drive customer engagement. Designed for both web and mobile. Smartphones aren't going anywhere. In fact, they're increasingly becoming the most popular way we consume content. This is why it's so crucial to design with both desktop and mobile in mind. This means ensuring your headers and your paragraphs work well across both devices, that no images or other visual elements have been cut off, and that your buttons are easy to use on a small screen. Make use of effective copy. As the web is different from print, it's necessary to adjust your writing style to your user's preferences and browsing habits. If you describe a service and you want users to create an account, sign up is better than start now, which is again better than explore our services. Okay, so finally, the time has come for the most important factor in the design of a website is the UX. In a survey by HubSpot, 76% of users said that the most important factor in the design of a website is that the website makes it easy for them to find what they want. Only 10% of users said that a beautiful appearance was the most important thing to them. So the more organized your content is, the longer users will stay. The longer users stay, the more likely they will buy. So make sure your web design priorities are correct. So all 12 of these rules will help you achieve good, smart design that will ultimately help you achieve your website goals.